in this video we will see what is impedance impedance is denoted by z impedance is the effective opposition it is like resistance to the flow of alternating current that is ac the unit of impedance is ohm same like resistance the unit of impedance is ohm impedance is the ratio of voltage and current but this is in ac so z is equal to v by i that is voltage by current and the unit of impedance is ohm which is represented by this omega in frequency or phasor domain in frequency or phasor domain for resistor voltage is equal to current into resistance this is the ohms law now impedance is equal to voltage divided by current so in place of this voltage if we substitute this value i into r i into r so this i and this i will get cancelled so therefore impedance is equal to resistance this is for only resistor then for inductor we know that in phasor domain or in frequency domain for inductor voltage is equal to j omega l i where omega is the angular frequency l is the imp l is the inductance and this i is the current so here again impedance is equal to voltage divided by current so if we substitute voltage value this j omega l i so j omega l i so this i and this i will get cancelled so therefore impedance is equal to j omega l so here if we substitute this omega l is inductive reactance omega l is the inductive reactance and it is represented by xl and the unit of impedance here is ohm this j represents that voltage leads current by 90 degree or in another words current lacks voltage by 90 degree for inductor for capacitor the voltage and current relationship is given by v is equal to i divided by j omega c now if we substitute the value of voltage here for in impedance formula so this will be i divided by j omega c into this i as it is so this i and this i will get cancelled so 1 upon j omega c in this 1 upon omega c represents capacitive reactance this ohm is the unit of this impedance and this 1 upon omega c is called as capacitive reactance which is represented by xc now what if the impedance is the combination of suppose resistor inductor and capacitor so it is given by here we can write also z is equal to r plus j x where this r represents resistance it is the resistance and this x represents reactance now what is this x so x is equal to xl minus xc xl is the inductive reactance xc is the capacitive reactance here we can see in this graph this horizontal axis represents real axis and this vertical axis represents imaginary axis this resistance the resistance will be on this horizontal axis or on real axis and here this will be the xl that is inductive reactance 
and here this will be Xc that is capacitive reactance and what is this X then? So, X will be here this will be X which is equal to XL minus Xc here we can write in bracket it is XL minus Xc. If we take the resultant of this so it will be something like this we have to draw the parallel line from here and then we have to draw the parallel line to this then this will be the resultant which is called as Z. Z is the impedance and this angle is called as angle phi. So, here we can calculate this Z as Z is equal to under root of R square plus X square or we can calculate this phi as 10 inverse of X by R. So, we can rewrite this impedance as Z is equal to R plus J in place of X we can substitute XL minus XC. XL minus XC. Now, what is this XL? Again, we can rewrite this as Z is equal to R plus J. In place of XL, we can substitute omega L minus in place of XC, we can substitute 1 upon omega C. So, this is the impedance if there is resistance and inductance and capacitance. So, this is about what is impedance. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.